Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It feels so good to be sitting down and filming with my camera and actually having internet and a computer to upload a video on. Um, I have been gone for like three months. I know that it's crazy. Um, but this has probably been the craziest last few months of my life. Uh, well, not probably, definitely has been the craziest few months of my life. Um, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about everything, but it's just been a lot of crazy personal things. Uh, my mom and dad got divorced. That was one. That was back in late September. Uh, I'm pregnant, um, which is a great thing, but just like when you are pregnant and then like bad things happen, you are that much more emotional. Uh, but basically, it's just I felt, I felt like the last few months I have not been living my life. Like I've been living someone else's life completely because it could not possibly be mine. That's kind of how I felt. Um, so honestly, the last thing on my mind was making videos or putting makeup on. I haven't even bought makeup and I couldn't tell you how long. Um, I did buy a e.l.f. highlighter the other day and my e.l.f. foundation. Uh, and that is the only thing I've bought in like probably four or five months. Um, but yeah, I finally have got back to normal, like a new normal. It'll never be like my old normal. Uh, as far as my life, uh, but everything is good now, but like I said, it's just a new normal. It took some adjusting to get used to the way my life is now, and if you knew the whole situation, you would understand what I'm talking about, but I, like I said, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about any of that. If you hear a bunch of noises, that's my little boy playing with uh, one of his trucks and it's making a lot of noise. Um... But anyway, I'm finally just feeling like myself again, like completely, and like I said, I have internet again. I didn't have internet for several months, it seemed like. Uh, we ended up just switching to a completely different internet uh, company, and I really like it, and I've just recently, like the past, I want to say like the past week, started actually watching YouTube videos again. I wasn't even doing that, and that was something I used to do all the time, but my life has just been crazy. But... Now I got all that out of the way, let's get into what this video is really about. I'm wanting to, oh, I'm getting a text. I am wanting to create a holiday makeup look. I have no idea what kind of a look I'm going to be going for, so we're just going to kind of go with it. Um, but I am having a Christmas party, um, or we're going to a Christmas party at church um, on the 18th. I think it's the 18th. I think it's the 18th. Well, anyway, we're going to have a Christmas party, and I really want to have, like, some cute makeup. And so, yeah, I just wanted to sit down and actually just play with makeup. It's something I haven't done in forever, just sit down and really, I don't know, enjoy makeup and enjoy the thought of filming. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, the first thing I'm going to do, um, like I said, I haven't bought hardly any new makeup, so y'all's going to see a lot of the same old products. Uh, my hair is dark again, and my extensions are black. Uh, black. Yeah, they're black, but they're back. Um, I'm sure that surprises no one. Uh, you never know what my hair is going to look like. Um, uh, anyway, I'm just putting some argon oil on my face. Because my skin, like I always say, is so dry. Especially in the winter months, it feels like sandpaper. Um, that might be slightly dramatic. But, it just is so, so dry. So, I have to keep moisturizer on it. And, if I would try to put foundation over it the way it is it would just really cling and not look good so just keeps it looking a lot smoother and healthier i'm so excited for christmas i love holiday season um it's definitely one of my favorite times of the year um probably is my favorite time of the year like i'm not a big fan of like winter in general but i love the holidays uh, after the holidays, I'm ready for spring and summer, but um, I, I just love um, just Thanksgiving and Christmas lots and just all of it. I just love the whole thing. Uh, I do have my Christmas tree up now. I still have two more Christmas trees to put up, um, and I still have to decorate like my staircase and all that, but I do have my, my big tree up. Um, okay, let me get some chapstick on because my lips are very dry as well. It's so rainy and dreary today. 
Um, I'm actually going to Christmas play practice here in a few hours. Um, tonight is our first practice. Uh, we have three weeks to get a Christmas play ready for church. Um, what do I want to do first? I need to clean my mirror off. I know that. It's a disaster. Okay, so I'm going to start with my eyes because I'm probably going to do a pretty dramatic look. And I don't want to have my base down and have a lot of fallout, which is usually what I do anyway. So I'm going to do my eyes first. I'm just taping them off so we have a nice crisp line. You all know the drill, I'm sure, if you've been here before. Okay, so I need to get some concealer. I'm just going to take some of my shape tape and just add just a little bit to each lid. Okay, and I'm just going to blend this out with my finger. So I'm thinking about making a um, Christmas makeup wish list video, like things that I uh, have on my wish list for Christmas. Uh, not that I expect to get all of it, but you know, I thought it would be fun. Um, I've seen so many nice uh, makeup palettes and stuff come out. And I have not been able to buy any of them. Like, I've just... Between everything else going on, finances has been ridiculous lately. My husband, he's uh, switched jobs. He's had three different jobs in... I want to say, like, the past six months. Probably six months. So, it's just been crazy. Um, but it is getting better now. It's, he's got a more stable, um, and he actually went back to his old job is what he did, which, uh, he shouldn't have left in the first place. <laughs> but, um, he ended up leaving his old job to go, uh, drive over the road for, um, like a trucking company. I'm not really sure. Um, and it was supposed to be really good pay, but it just was not dependable at all. Like, it was nothing like they said it was going to be. So, he ended up um, quitting that job. Um, and he got a job on the railroad after that. Um, he was con a conductor on the railroad. And it was, uh, the money was fine, but he was away from home all the time. And then I was pregnant, or am pregnant. Um... And then we have a two-year-old, so I just did not like him being away, and he didn't like him being away. Um, so, yeah, he ended up getting his old job back where he's close to home and home every evening, and the pay is, it's a good, it's good pay. Like, we always was fine, so I'm really glad that they hired him back, and uh, I threatened his life if he ever quits again. Anyway, I'm using the um, Too Faced Natural Eyes uh, eyeshadow palette. It's the one in this little tin. Um, yeah, I'm using the shade Heaven, and that's what I set my concealer down with. Okay, so I don't know what to do next. I kind of have an idea in my mind what I want, but I'm not sure how to go about it. Okay, I think I'm going to take uh, Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie. Uh, just with a fluffy brush and I'm just going to lay that down as a transition to begin with and I'm not going to get this down on my lid um, at all. I really kind of want to cut crease I think and I want to keep it kind of high if that makes sense. So I'm just doing it right over the crease really. Faking it. Probably zoom you all in so you can actually see what I'm doing. I never do. I always forget. So let's do that. Okay, so that should be better. You should see me a little bit better. But anyway, yeah, finances has just been really crazy. Um, you don't really hear a lot of people, like YouTubers, talking about like money issues. Um, but the truth is, I make no money from this. I don't even have 500 subscribers yet. So, I'm getting paid, like, no money to do this. Um, so it's really just for the fun of it. I don't know if I'll ever get to the point where I make money doing it. And honestly, not worried about it if I do or not. 
Um, but the reality of life is I'm just a normal everyday housewife uh, with one kid and another one on the way and a husband that works just an average everyday job. So, you know, we have bills and a house payment and, you know, real life things and sometimes uh, new and expensive makeup just isn't on the list of things um, to buy and to pay for. Uh, anyway, I'm going back into um, my Too Faced palette and I'm getting this shade right here. It's a Cashmere Bunny. And I'm just going to carve my crease out a little bit, but I'm still a little bit over my crease really. Like I said, I'm kind of faking it. And apparently I had a different shadow on this before and I'm getting orangey red eyeshadow. Oh well, I'll make it work. Now the problem will be getting it to match up. Let's see, these are looking completely different. Okay, so I know what shade I had on this, so I'm just going to mix a little bit of that in here. Uh, this is Poppy by Makeup Geek, which is totally not what I was going for, but I'm a hot mess and forgot to make sure my brush didn't have eyeshadow on it. It's starting to look like a bruise. <laughs> oh well. We'll make it work. We'll clean it up. Okay, so I'm going to go back into a fluffy brush, um, and I'm going to take some each peach smoothie again and kind of go over this to blend this out a little bit better definitely going in a completely different direction than I had planned okay, though. okay we're good uh, I'm going to take a very precise, well not like very precise, but like a smaller fluffy brush that's not as fluffy, if that makes sense. Uh, and I'm going to go into Sixpresso right here, and I'm just going to use this. And this is going to go in my actual crease, I'm not going above it. It's going to go on like this outer V. And like actually into my crease. I'm just gonna build this up slowly. Okay, and we'll repeat on the other eye, and I'll go back and do some more blending on this. I'm taking a nudie from this same palette on a fluffy brush, and I'm just going to do some blending okay so now for what I like to call the star of the show I'm going to be using uh, glitter injections um, this, I don't remember what this is called uh, they don't have the names on it which drives me nuts but it's this really red glitter is what it is um, I've used this before. I've heard some bad things about glitter injections, like um, their eyeshadows, like having mold and stuff in it. I have three, and so far I haven't had any issues, but I don't know if I would order any more because I have heard some pretty not so great things. Um, so yeah, I think I'll probably just stick with what I have and probably not order any more because the thought of mold just really... Ugh. It's icky. Okay. Uh, anyway, you don't have to use a glitter glue with these, but I'm going to um, just to kind of ensure that it stays where I want it. Um, I'm just using the NYX Glitter Primer. Let me zoom me in just a little bit more for this. Okay. And ignore the fact that my brows are not done. Um, I find when I do the oil, um, I have to wait till I have my face more powdered down. Um, to do my brows or they kind of smudge. Um, anyway, so I just got some of that glitter primer on the back of my hand and I'm just taking a little flat brush and I'm going to cover the entire lid and kind of carve out the um, crease. Kind of like what people do when they do a cut crease, only instead of concealer I'm using the glitter primer. 
And I'm just going to do one eye at a time because I don't want this to dry. I'm going to get a different brush. Another just flat kind of shader eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to pick up some of that glitter. You can see right there. And we're just going to start to pat this in place. And I'm patting instead of rubbing because I don't want it to fall everywhere. Which these are pretty good about not being too messy. But still, I'd rather do a patting motion. I'm just taking my time. And honestly, a lot of times I use my finger to do this. These? This? <laughs> but, um... Um, sometimes that gets a little bit messy with the glitter. And there's that. I'm actually really happy with the way that turned out. Uh, I'm just going to take um, a fluffy brush. I'm not going into the crease. I'm just going to kind of sweep a little bit above it. For I'm going to repeat that on this eye. I'm not going to record that part because you saw what I did. So I'm just going to put the primer and then go over it with the red glitter and then I'll come back to show you what we're going to do from there. Okay, so I've got that on and this eye here is nice and dry. So I'm going to go in with just a little bit of Cashmere Bunny and kind of just add a little bit more to the upper crease area. Really want to make sure that that's opaque and carved out. I don't want no um, bald spots. So just repeating on this eye. Okay, and then I'm going to take that little more precise brush with Sexpresso again and darken this outer edge and into about the mid crease right here. Not taking it in any further, just kind of deepening that up. Okay, so it is looking a little dark and smudgy up here, which I knew it would because I was working pretty high. So I'm going to take um, the shade Heaven again, the highlight shade, or not highlight shade, it was my base shade, and I'm just going to put that under the brow bone just to kind of lighten this up, and then we are going to use a shimmer shade under there as well to carve that out, but just doing this first. I'm going to use the shade uh, Starry Eyed by Makeup Geek. It's literally pretty much empty, except for around the rim. Um, yeah, I dropped it and broke it, and that made me cry because this is one of my favorite um, eyeshadows I have by them. But anyway, I'm just going to pop that under the brow bone and take it out so that you have some definition there. And I do have a little bit of glitter fallout. There's like some stuff right here on my nose. But that should dust away fairly easy. And then we can start on my base. Okay, so for foundation, I'm using my favorite. It's the e.l.f. Flawless Finish. And I'm just going to pump a couple squirts onto my face. And I've been into using my Artiste uh, Brush Dupe. And I'm just going to blend this out. And sharp, sharp, I keep saying that. Tart shape tape. And I'm just putting a little bit under my eye. And I will just pop a little dot right there. And then um, again, I'm using one of my like Artiste brush dupes. And I'm using that to blend out under my eye. I'm going to powder. I'm going to powder my face with my Cody Airspun, uh, like always, and I'm going to do my brows with my Anastasia Dip Brow, and I will be back. Okay, so now I'm going to do my contour, um, and I was going to use my Anastasia one, but I've decided to use my e.l.f. one instead. I haven't used this in a while, uh, so I'm going to be using this darkest shade here, and I'm going to use my Real Techniques uh, 301 brush. And I'm going to tap that off. And I'm just going to ever so slightly tap this into that hollow of my cheek. Which 
considering I'm five and a half months pregnant, isn't really there much anymore. And I'm actually going to use the bronzer in this palette too, which I normally never do. But I'm going to try it today. And I'm just going to use the Real Techniques 100 brush. And I'm just going to dip in there, take that off, and swirl. Uh, for my blush, I'm actually using another e.l.f. product. Uh, and this is um, the Baked Blush in Rich Rose. I love this blush. I never hear anyone talk about this, but I love it. It's one of my favorites. It is a matte blush. It does give you some of that shine and shimmer. Oh my gosh, I can't get it open. That's my only thing I don't like about it. It's really hard to open sometimes. Um, yeah, so this is what it looks like. It's kind of a bronzy tone, and then it's got some pink swirled in there. I'm just going to load some of that up on a brush, and I'm just going to lightly dust that. I'm going to do highlights. And actually, I did get the, um, what's it called? It's in the same kind of packaging. Um, the e.l.f. Baked Highlight uh, in Moonlight Pearls. I heard a lot of people talking about this, but like you have to scrape the top layer, all that off. I'm sure you've all heard that. Um, I've tried it once and really wasn't for sure how I felt about it, so we're going to try it again today. So, we're just going to add that to the tops of the cheekbones. I don't know, it's pretty. It is pretty, but I don't know. I'm just very attached to my Sleek, sleek Cosmetics um, highlight. It just does more for me. It gives me more glow. I mean, this is really, really pretty, but I'm all about an intense glow. I'm going to take a little bit down the bridge of my nose. I don't put it on the tip of my nose because I already have kind of like a big ball up on the tip of my nose, so I don't like to draw any more attention to that. Um, but I do like it right here on the bridge. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to add a little bit of my Sleek Cosmetics um, highlight. Okay, so now I'm just going to finish off my eyes. Um, I'm going to begin with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. You've seen me do this five million times. Um, and I'm going into Nudie. It's just the shade down here. And I'm just going to run that over go into um, my makeup shadow, foiled shadow in Whimsical, which is a very bright, pretty highlight shade. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to add this to like the inner half underneath because I want this to be really pretty and bright. I'm going to put on some mascara. Uh, this is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. I'm going to put that on and I will be right back. I'm going to go in, I don't think I've ever actually used this. I, I've swatched it, but I've never used it, I don't think. Um, this is the LA Colors Matte Liquid Lip Color uh, in the shade Sultry. And I think I got these for like $2 a piece. Uh, but yeah, I just want to have a nude lip. So I'm going to try this and see how it works out. It's just got like, kind of like the paddle shaped doe foot. I actually really like the way that looks. Um, it is very pale, so if you're darker than me, it may not look right. Um, but I'm extremely, extremely, extremely pale. It does kind of have like a, I want to say like a peachy undertone. Hold on, baby. Daddy went to work. Hi, Daddy. Mommy be down in just a minute. Daddy. <laughs> Hold on just a second. I'm going to have to go grab my child. Okay, so I had to go rescue little man here. Well, not so little man. Say hi. Look at the camera. Right here. Look. Say hi. No. Why not? Blow kiss. How about that? Look. I see that you ain't it. Uh, okay, so anyway, I really like this lipstick. Um, it does dry down completely matte and it's transfer proof. Um, I have five of these, so I think I may do a dedicated lip swatch wear test video on these. Uh, let me know if you'd be interested in that. But this is the way the look turned out. I really, really like it. Um, so yeah, if y'all like it, um, uh, leave me comments down below. If you don't like it, you can leave me comments about that too. Uh, but yeah, just let me know what you think. Um, and yeah, if you try to recreate it, I would love to see pictures or like if you have a video of trying to recreate this. Um, post down below, link your video, whatever, and I would be happy to check it out. But I love you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.